so it is Thursday and it's the 25th of June 2009 my name is Liz and this is the very first ever video blog that I've done sorry for the relatively poor webcam quality but this is just the standard one that came with my laptop so bear with me whilst the first few videos take a while to get us all adjusted and, and happy with the outcome anyway um, I decided to start creating these these blogs, video blogs, written blogs on the internet because it struck me recently that I may be fairly unique and I don't mean that in an arrogant sense I just mean that in a, I don't know, a slightly interesting sense I guess if it interests anybody that's great um, of that I'm British, living in America, not been here all that long, about 10 months or so and I'm atheist, um, so I'm a, I'm a minority on two counts um, and I just wanted to sort of start a little blog documenting for whoever's interested, if nobody then fine um, just a little bit about some of the experiences that I've had in America, supposedly liberal state of California um, and, and being atheist um, and some of those things that entails so yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much the, the idea of this general blog and if anybody has any uh, questions or topics they'd like me to talk about um, that relate to that subject then please uh, send in your suggestions, I would love to hear from you. Um, the email address is on the website so feel free to, to ask away. Um, but yeah, the very first thing I wanted to talk about really was just the general vibe I've had in California so far relating to being an atheist. Um, not specifically a British atheist, just being atheist. I've noticed that there's a particular, I wouldn't say stigma because stigma is a negative term, but the opposite of that, a positive stigma attached to anybody with a belief in a deity, specifically around here of course the Christian God um, as opposed to the Islamic God or the Jewish God or the Hindu or Buddhist or whatever gods um, there's no there's no real room for any of those other things I've noticed in terms of social acceptance you can't really be godless and socially accepted people seem to be frightened of that around here um, I have an atheist friend of mine who is very afraid, really, of expressing any of her views to anybody that she doesn't completely implicitly trust because she is concerned that people will judge her on the basis of her lack of religious belief, um, absence of faith in any god or gods or jinn or spirits or any of those other things. Both of us are rational free thinkers, both of us are scientists. We don't believe things because there is no evidence for them. And in fact, there's a lot of evidence to suggest that they may not exist at all. Um, and our personal conclusions that we've arrived from that is that there are no gods, or there certainly is no, in my opinion, uh, Judeo-Christian Judeo Islamic God. There's no God with a capital G, as it were. Anyway, um, I've also noticed, despite my usual fairly outspoken nature, I will admit, that even I've been hesitant to be forthright about my lack of religious conviction. Um, I'll give you an example. I was uh, in a town just, just over from mine, um, and I went into a cafe that I'd never been into before. I was the only customer. It was one of those very friendly, open, welcoming family run cafes and the very nice lady who was who was running the cafe on her own um, we started talking seeing as we're the only two people there and seeing as I have a British accent people ask questions about where I'm from sometimes are you from Australia <laughs> but um, nevertheless we started having a conversation and she was very pleasant and everything was going extremely well and she seemed very very friendly I ordered a salad and a drink and I sat down and 
I can't even remember exactly how the conversation progressed, but she ended up asking me, are you religious? Do you go to church? And I think it was because we were talking about things that I was doing socially. Have you, have you found lots of friends, she was asking. And I said, yes, yeah, I found a few friends and I'm settling in very nicely. Everyone seems very friendly. Oh, do you go to church, she said. And I thought that was a rather strange question based on what she'd just asked me. I've never seen church as a meeting place, I guess. I was raised Church of England and it's one of the dullest, dreariest places in the world. You wouldn't dream of social networking in a Church of England church, really. Um, and, and I said, well, no, I said, my husband and I aren't particularly religious, but I shied away from saying the word atheist. I didn't want to say atheist. I had a feeling that she might judge me, that she might think that I was some kind of psychotic, godless heathen, that she might view it in a purely negative light, and then I would have lost all element of, of pleasantry or friendship. And I, I was afraid that that would happen. Um, I'm not quite sure what I was afraid of. I mean, I, I barely knew this woman, but still, I, I guess it's in my nature to try and be friendly to everybody. I didn't want to sour that because we were getting on so well. So I said, no, I said, my husband and I aren't particularly religious. You know, we believe what we believe, which is nothing, of course, but I didn't say that. Um, you know, we believe what we believe and, and we don't really feel the need to go to church to, to express that. Oh, well, I go to this lovely uh, Catholic church, she said. Um, you know, on the, on the this particular road, this particular street, you know it. And I said, well, I know of it. I've, you know, I've been past it a couple of times. Oh, you should come, she said. I mean, she, I'd said I wasn't particularly religious. I figured that would possibly be the end of the conversation, but but no, she was fairly persistent. I I found myself just just sort of thanking her for you know, thank you for the suggestion. I I thought. It was ever so strange. I, I didn't really know how to how to how to think, how to feel. I had never experienced anything like that before. I mean, it's harmless enough, of course. I'm not suggesting for a minute that people shouldn't suggest helpfully um, things that people should do if they're relatively new to a, to a country. And and in her mind, being a Catholic, obviously, her social network was her church, and she was merely being you know, helpful and, and, and providing a kind of outreach, I guess. It was obviously not particularly harmful or particularly vicious or anything like that. It wasn't in the least. It was completely benign. But it did sort of put me on the spot and get me to think, why am I so afraid of declaring myself an atheist? And I guess I've been debating that one for a while now. I haven't really come up with a, with a concrete answer, but there you go. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this first little blog. I just wanted to share that story. Um, and I hope that some of you find this at least slightly interesting and maybe have some questions, as I said before. Feel free to ask them. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. And I'll continue to update this site with uh, videos and text relating to various experiences. And, and we'll see how it pans out, I guess. Just figured I'd give this a go. So, um, so thanks for listening, if you've managed to get this far. I know I tend to waffle on. But uh, yeah, thanks for listening, and uh, I will post another blog very shortly. All right, bye.